Back here on Main Event Wrestling, and we just saw Dominique pull the leg of Playboy Scott Hayes, and Hayes is down, and that allows Jeff Daniels to get the upper hand. I tell you, this has been an explosive match, but it sure isn't going to be explosive as much as it's going to be in the locker room, Jason. Well, I tell you what's going to be explosive, the rematch between these individuals in Princeton, Kentucky in September. We're already going to let it out, a tag team rematch for the Mid-America Tag Team Championships. Boy, that could, that, that's going to be huge. I'm going to tell you, those people in Princeton are, re are re waiting for this. They've already called in and said, we're going to be there. They already wanted to buy tickets ahead of time, and the event's not until September. But that's okay, Princeton. We'll be back. You come back, and we'll have another great night of true Southern-style NWA wrestling. And I hope Dominique and her cheating ways will not be in Princeton in September, choking the life out of Playboy Scott Hayes and speaking of house shows, Mike, we got a great one coming to Waverly, Tennessee, Friday, March 27th, featuring Jerry the King Lawler, Brian Christopher, both of those individuals on the card. Get your tickets now, 615-262-4455. They will go fast. That's right, Jason. The front row is almost sold out of ringside, but if you give us a call, we'll be glad to reserve your seats for that night. Box office opens at 5. If you want to come by and get your tickets early, it'd be great to come back and watch the matches. But getting back to Princeton, Jason, it's going to be a big show there in Princeton in September. Jeff Daniels now stalking Playboy Scott Hayes like a cat and mouse. Referee Jamie Ferrari breaking up that choke, but he doesn't see the choke now from Dominique on the outside. Once again, it's a handicap match. Boy, how many times has NWA Main Event written this story out to our viewers? Jeff Daniels against Scott Hayes with Dominique in the corner of the Crippler, and it ends up being a two-on-one situation every time. That is exactly right, Jason, but I can assure you on that rematch that Dominique's going to be there in all her glory. And, Jason, I know you know you like Dominique. I see how you look at her in your eyes. You sort of squint and sort of wink at her when she's Mike at Porter, the show. I will take this headset off right now. I will quit NWA main event, and I'll go up north for the summer. For the summer? You're supposed to go south, Jason. Let's go to Florida if you're going in. Watch Dominique on the outside of the ring with Scott Hayes. Scott Hayes, Jeff just got out on the floor. There's Dominique throwing the boots to him. Dominique, illegal moves on the outside, and now referee Jamie Ferrari tending to her as we got a slugfest between Jeff Daniels and Scott Hayes right here in front of the fans in Portland. We're glad to see our Nashville fans made it out to Portland today. And now the match continues for the Mid-America Heavyweight Championship. Speaking of those national fans at Portland, you know, they were in Princeton. They're going to be in Waverly on the 27th. We have a busload of fans from Nashville that can't, wants to leave Nashville because they can't see any true wrestling in Nashville on Saturday nights. So they're going to they follow us all over the place. Jason has said they want to watch our wrestling. It's the best wrestling they've seen. And we welcome those people from, Port from Nashville into Portland and Princeton and Waverly, wherever we go. Well, the abdominal stretch applied to Playboy Scott Hayes. Hayes could be in trouble here. Playboy Scott Hayes nowhere near a rope, nowhere near a rope break as he just endures the pain of the abdominal stretch now at the hands of Jeff the Crippler Daniel. Also, Jason, let's remind the people, Veritas Street, 413 Veritas Street, every Saturday night at the Community Life Center. Come on out and be with us. We're going to have a TV studio set up there. You'll be able to see us on TV. You'll be able to see the studio. Come on out, 413 Veritas, every Saturday night at 8 p.m. bell time. Jeff Daniels now drops the forearm on the back of Playboy Scott Hayes. Hayes now desperately needs. Oh, and Jeff Daniels just stomps on the midsection, right on the sternum, right on the stomach of Playboy Scott Hayes. And boy, what a devastating maneuver. I'm going to tell you that took the life out of Scott Hayes, but Scott Hayes in desperation is making a comeback. He rolls him up. One. One attempt here. Referee distracted. We got a new champion. One, two. And by that time, Daniels is able to kick out. Scott Hayes down on the mat now. Dominique, see how she interferes in the match? She got the referee's attention. If the referee had been had a referee there, they could have counted to 15, Jason. 
Pin attempt, two count, no hook of the leg, and that cost him. Scott Hayes able to muscle up that left shoulder and kick out of that pinning predicament. Jeff picking Scott up. One on one, we're going to the rear chin lock that he is famous for. Putting that pressure, if you watch his elbows, Jason, he's got that rear chin lock. He's got his hands and fingers locked. Putting the pressure on those shoulders, wearing Scott Hayes down. And if he keeps this on, Jason, he may be the new champion. And you see how the upper part of Jeff Daniels' body has leaned forward on the back of the neck, the back of the head of Playboy Scott Hayes, applying that much more pressure. The veteran instincts from Jeff the Crippler Daniels are unquestionable. You cannot take the fact away from this man that he knows what he's doing tactically in the middle of the squared circle, and he will do whatever it takes to get the job done. Jason, you're exactly right. J Jeff Daniels has the experience. He is a veteran, and if you notice those veteran moves that he does in that ring, that's going to help him be the new champion. Just like that right there, he positioned himself and Scott Hayes to where the referee could not see, and then Scott Hayes, a couple shots to the midsection. What happens? Daniels pulls the hair. Three didn't see it because the referee was positioned behind the back of Jeff Daniels, and do you think that was a coincidence? I think not. I think you're right, Jason. I do not think it is a coincidence, but right now Jeff Daniels has that rear chin lock locked again. Those hands and fingers are locked. He's bearing down on the shoulders. If You can, you can notice that Scott Hayes the weight that Jeff is putting on the shoulders, you can see Scott Hayes with bending down. Jeff is also in the back of the neck, in the neck area working on it. Scott is trying to get out of this. I don't know if he's going to be able to, but we'll see here in just a few minutes. Scott Hayes trying to rally the troops here in Portland, Tennessee, trying to get these fans behind him. He does a good job at doing exactly that, ducking the clothesline, but watch the knees. Hayes is down once more. Folks, we got to take our last commercial break. We'll be right back with more Main Event Wrestling. <laughs> 